So before you can correct your people, what must you do first, Kaylin? Correct yourself, that's good. You're on the right track. Because how can you correct others when you're not walking in the steps that you're supposed to be required to walk in? What would that make you if you not if you try to correct someone but you not but you live in contrary to what you try to teach people? What does that make you? Exactly. You're on the right track, brother. This is good right here. Humble it down. Exactly. This is what it's gonna take. So now we gotta get our minds right. Before we get the structural house correct, we got it starts with us. The black man, the Hispanic man. Because for a long time we've been shucking and jiving. Chasing women, chasing pills, trying to go to the next party. I ain't ignorant to it. I've been there, I've done that. But I, when I heard these words, I had to change. Right. Because deep down, I had a sincere love for my people. Right. I look around, I see something ain't right. I look around, I see trash. This ain't correct, this ain't right. right. I look at our people working the lowest paying jobs, working to make ends meet. But before we can take the earth, take, take back the earth, we gotta come back to this right here. Bring it out. Okay, brother, we got to change our minds. All the gang violence, the GDs, the BDs, that ain't right. How we gonna correct anybody when we come against each other left and right? How we gonna use the same structure that was used to unify our people, gang, gangs, because at one point that was set up to unify our people, but yet we can't get it on with each other. You got GDs and BDs, you got O Block, whatever the hell block you from. But we're going through the same damn thing. We got a couple of our people at heart. It ain't about just me. We've been taught in America, Long as I make it, long as I'm good. Right. Long as I got a nice car, a nice house. Right. Meanwhile, right. you live in next door, they on full steps. Right. They struggling. That makes no sense. Right. Since when have it been about just us only? We one nation of people. The same crabs in the same barrel going through the same oppression. Right. Matthew chapter 5 verse 4. Come on. Blessed are they that mourn, uh -huh. for they shall be comforted. Read that from the top. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. It said, blessed are they that mourn. We are mourning people. But yeah, we're still blessed. Because we're God's chosen people. We are the Israelites. We got the richest history on the planet. Where is it at? It's right here. Right. If you call yourself Judah, you're American black. Benjamin, West Indy. We got the richest history on the planet. We have a whole book. That's about us. That's right. Did you, did you know that it was a book on the planet Earth that was about you, brother? You didn't know that. You probably didn't know that. Know what? That prior to now, that there's a book on this planet Earth that's about you. This Bible is your history. That's right. That's right. The same Bible that we've been taught that it's a white man's book. Really, it's about you. Blessed are they that mourn, uh -huh. for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Right, but we have to be receptive. We have to submit to the words of God. Then we shall inherit the earth. Henceforth, we shall take over the earth. That's right. Don't you want to take over the earth? Don't you want what's coming to you? Because we've been oppressed for far too long. We demand justice. That's right. Because we got to know again who this Bible is about. Right. Like, again, I did say that this Bible is your history book. Let's prove all things. Let me start off with that. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake Unto all Israel. No, to all blacks. Unto all Israel. All African Americans. All Israel. So this Bible is for Israel. Oh snap. This ain't for everybody. So if this for Israel, who am I then? You are the Israelites, believe it or not. That's right. So it's important to know your nationality because God is only dealing with one nation of people. You might think that's racism, but for you that should be comforting because guess what? It's only one nation of people that's blessed on the planet earth and that's you that's right the hell with everybody else we gotta we gotta get our minds right. right we can't even talk about what about the white man what about the black uh the arab man what about your people right what about your people right. when we gonna stop worrying about everybody else and come back to who we are right but we're gonna build you up now go back to deuteronomy 28 verse 10 because now we know who this bible is all about Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 10. Come on. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. Uh -huh. And they shall be afraid of thee. Read that from the top, brother. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. We are called by the name of the Lord, which is Israel. We are the Israelites. He never called us black. He never called us Puerto Rican. You're not going to find that in the scriptures. Then once we come back to who we are, then the other nation is going to be afraid. The white man is going to be afraid once we know who we are. Because once we know who we are, that's going to require us to unite together. Right. Because we can't unite being a Muslim, 
being a Mason, a Freemason, being an atheist. We can't unite under those things because those are ideologies that don't agree. They're contrary. We have to unite under Christ. That's why our organization is called Israel United in Christ. Because we are the Israelites and we're going to unite under the King Jesus Christ. That's right. And that's what's going to help you get your thing back. Knowing that you have a king that's going to fight for you. But it requires something of you first. You got to identify. You must come back as an Israelite. Because he ain't coming to save the black man. Alright? Let's get that. Matthew 15, 24. The Matthew book of Matthew, 24. chapter 15, verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read that from the top. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why did I read that? Because we've been misconstrued in believing that Christ loved everybody. But Christ telling you right now, he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's These right. people on this sound right here. So if you identify with that, Christ is coming for you. That's you right. have a king. You have a God. You ain't going to learn that in that church, though. Because the church teach you God love everybody. Bring all your tithes. Meanwhile, you making a pastor rich by you getting on the bus. Living from paycheck to paycheck. Ain't got no food in your uh, house. Let's get Isaiah 59 and 2 real fast. Again, this will give you the comfort, uh, Daniel. This is going to give you the comfort knowing who you are. That you have a king. You have a God that's going to fight for you. Knowing who you are. This is the most important history you're going to learn today, Daniel. Read on. Isaiah 59 verse 2. For your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you. That he will not hear. Right. Because we God's chosen people. So how come we not walking around according to, to God? Because our iniquities have separated from us. We have lost our identity because of our iniquity. Psalms 38 verse 18. For I will declare my iniquity. Uh -huh. I will be sorry for my sin. So iniquity means sin. Sin. So our iniquities have separated us from the most high God. Come on, read on. Book of Romans chapter 3 verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Uh -huh. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Come on. God forbid. Come on. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. It says that God be true and every man a liar. Let God be true, but every man a liar. Because you say you don't believe in God because you can't see him. Okay, more if I was to tell you that we have the words of God right here in this book. These are the words of the Most High right here. Men wrote the Bible, but it was inspired through God, though. That's right. Let's see what God said, though, because remember, he said that God be true and every man a liar, because we have a lot of unbelievers out here, because Christ said when he found faith, when he come back, because he will come back. He will come back. So, chapter 68, verse 11. Uh -huh. The Lord gave the word. Uh -huh. Great was the company of those that published it. So who gave the words in this book? Read on. The Lord gave the word. Come on. Great was the company of those that published it. So man wrote this Bible, but where did the words come from? Who documented those words? The Most High God did. Great was those who published this word. That was inspired by the Most High God. Right. You got that? Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Uh -huh. Declaring the end from the beginning. Uh -huh. And from ancient times, things that are not yet done. Read it from the first off for me. Verse 9. Remember the former things of old. Remember the what? The former things of old. The Bible said remember the former things, right? Remember the past, right? Remember the past. Do you agree with that? So remember the past? Yes. Yeah, because you're always the cause and effect. Everything you got a cause to. Every effect got a cause to. Okay, read on. Good. So we're on the right track here. I'm trying to get you... I'm trying to bring your logic back to this right here. I'm trying to get, trying to gain your understanding. That's logical. I can't believe it. I didn't see. I didn't hear. I didn't. Hear. Nobody seen. Nobody heard. So it's like, where the book come from? The book come from white folk, white people, or whatever race, just watching us do what we do. Make a pack of Kool Aid for ten people, or he made wine for thirty people. No, we just using our incognito and we using what we, you know, our melanin and what we here for. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with you, bro. I'm gonna deal with that. That's a good point. But let me build you up first. I got to take steps first. What you mean build me up? Because we agree that the Bible, you agree that the that we got to remember the old, the, the, the past, right? No, not remember it. Find out what happened. Okay, good. That's even better. You know what I'm saying? Read on. For I am God, 
and there is none else. Uh -huh. I am God, and there is none like me. God said, remember the past. Let me look at these signs right here. This is channel slavery. Do you believe in this? This happens to our people. Us coming in Africa, confirmed for Africa, the West Coast, or wherever, all over, all over the planet. It was a, it was a couple of races in slavery. But we was enslaved right here. This is our people right here. What if I was to tell you that that's in the Bible? Would you believe it then? Because it was happening back then. No, no. What if I will show you this according in the Bible that we went into slavery? Would you believe the Bible then? Yeah, because that person that wrote it saw it. Okay, great. Deuteronomy 20 and 15 and get, and get to the point. Because that's recorded in the Bible. This Bible been here way before us. But we ain't been taught it right. We've been taught that it's a white man's book. Hey, it wasn't here before everybody. <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm going to show you that we can find this in the scriptures. We can find channel slavery in the scriptures. Right. You know? Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Uh huh. But it shall come to pass. Because remember, it shall come to pass. Because we commanded to remember the past. We commanded to not forget about the past. So it's going to come to pass. It's going to happen. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we don't listen to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes. Which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if we didn't come, if we didn't listen to the most high God, all these curses was gonna come and take us, overtake us. If we didn't keep the commandments. So bro, hey Drew, check me out, bro. Because we didn't keep the commandments, this was gonna to happen to our people. I'm gonna show you that in the Bible. Verse 68. Check it out, Drew. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Hey Drew, check it out, Drew. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Oh, y'all not listening though. Y'all not listening. Read that from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He said the Lord shall lead us into what? Egypt again with ships. Because when you look at the history of the Israelites, we was in Egypt the first time. We was in Egypt, in Africa. But he said we would go back into Egypt. How? With ships. There's a ship right there. You see that ship right there? So how we, so the Lord said we was going to go back into slavery again with ships. We read that the Bible. This happened. We have the illustrations right here. We were stacked like sardines on top of each other. This book is about us because this book recorded that we was going to go into slavery and slave ships. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.